YouTube, YouTube, welcome to part two of the guide to Roblox graphics series. Where we left off last time, we added some text. I guess since we are on the topic on the text tool, we might as well continue with text. So <laughs> yeah, text tool, you can also hit T. That is the shortcut. Um, shortcuts are extremely, extremely important. Um, the reason why in our other videos, when I when I do things very quickly, um, that's because I'm using shortcuts and shortcuts. Once you understand enough shortcuts, um, to a certain extent, when you do your commissions and when you do your work, everything is just so much quicker and much, much easier. So yeah, use T for your text tool. Always keep that in mind. So text tool, so you click and uh, control A, that's gonna be your shortcut to select all so you don't have to manually drag um, the text to highlight. So control A to select your text. Um, I guess this part, we're just gonna go over the text tool and just, yeah, the text tool. All right, um, you can align on the left side. This is useful. For example, let's say I'm gonna use the font Roboto, Roboto, whatever right here so jfx comment um for different fonts you want to adjust the leading right here like we explained in the last video just go over to your character tab right here and uh, drag on this little icon right or left just like that so right there and let's say you want to write your text like uh, maybe bump down the size adjust that all right you can do welcome to GFX comments, subscribe for more videos. That's you could align it on the left side. Um, let's say you want to make your text to the middle, add it to the middle right here. So, so those are a couple reasons why you should change your alignment, change the color as well, just like that change the font weight so let's say welcome to gfx comments i'm gonna highlight subscribe right here and i can make this red that so we got some unique text and actually um and for the rest we go for a medium font weight just like that also some more on the text tool if you go to your layers panel, you see your text layer icon, right? When it has this icon in the case text layer, this means you can still edit your text. So if you hit T, you can still edit your text, right? But let's say you wanna make um, changes to your text. If you see right here, if you right click and you see rasterize type, once you hit this button, rasterize type, this will flatten the entire text layer into an editable rasterize layer. Once you hit this button, you can't change your text anymore. So I'm just gonna give you guys an example. If we hit rasterize type, as you can see, it is now flattened to a single image slash uh, flattened rasterize layer. And if I go to my text tool, I can't click and I can't edit the text anymore. It's just gonna make a completely new text layer, as you can see. So when you are, so before you rasterize your text, this is important because in the future, um, when you do text effects, you're going to have to rasterize it. So before you do that, you wanna make sure um, you have your text exactly how you want it to be. And you can also make a copy and you can also make a copy to ensure you have a backup text layer. So how do you make a copy? simple the uh simple but longer way is to right click and hit duplicate layer right here this will uh, make a copy for you so you hit okay and obviously you can hide the backup and you can just play around with this one so let me show you guys some text effects i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a very quick quick little text All right, there we go. I'm gonna use this right here. All right, some very, very quick text effects. 
here's what we're gonna do. All right, you're gonna wanna go up to edit and go to free transform. And as you can see right here, control T is the shortcut. This is, this is going to be one of the most used shortcuts you're gonna use. So yeah, keep that in mind. Just wanna hit. And as you can see, this pops the free transform box right here. Go into right click and we're gonna go to warp. And up here in warp, we're gonna choose any one of these. You can use any one, you can use arc, arc lower, arc upper, arc right here is a different one. Bulge, shell lower, shell upper, flag, wave, fish, rise, fish eye, inflate, squeeze, and twist. I'm just gonna go for arc, so I'm gonna click arc. And as you can see, this will arc our text. And right here in the top left, you have bend, the bend value. So you could go to this bend text and this will pop this uh, little arrow icon and you can drag this to the left side to decrease the bend. Obviously you could also manually add the value or you could use this box and uh, just slide this, drag this right here. So subscribe and once you're done you can hit enter or you can click this little uh, box up here which is enter obviously so so we have committed our changes to the text right here now let's say you want to align your text to the middle of the canvas this is also very simple you want to hit Control a on your keyboard and um Control a as you know it selects everything so Control a in this context, it's just gonna select our uh, entire canvas. So as you can see, these dotted lines right here, this means our canvas has a selection around it. So we are on our text there and how we can align this completely to the middle perfectly is you want to be on your move tool right here. And if you see these buttons, um, align left edges, align horizontal centers. So you're just gonna want to click this button, boom. And right here, align vertical centers, boom. And as you can see, our text is perfectly in the center. Now to get rid of these dotted lines, you wanna hit Control D on your keyboard. That is the deselect. So if you go to select right here, you see deselect is Control D. So uh, you just hit that and the uh, and the little dotted lines will disappear so let's go control t again and um if you see these options right here um so let's go back to control t so this right here is how you can scale your text up or down without having to adjust the font value you're gonna want to go up to one of these corners and you just want to drag and you just want to drag this out while you're holding alt on your keyboard and as you can see you can scale this proportionally just like that and if you see right here these values will also adjust this is the horizontal scale vertical position and uh, vertical scale vertical scale right here this is the angle we did 90 this will flip our text around we did 180 and obviously 360 uh, so yeah the max is 180 and right here you could also rotate manually like that so that's a couple things um the very basic things on the text tool um i hope you guys enjoyed if this helped and you want a part two make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace